why only a few countries made it, and what's coming next, the story of the race to touch the moon. In a world of over 190 countries, only five have successfully landed on the moon. Why so few? And why is everyone racing back to it now, decades after the first landing? From Cold War tensions to modern-day geopolitics, the moon is more than just a lifeless rock in space. It's a stage where global powers prove their dominance. But the real story goes beyond the headlines. Let's unravel the journey of humankind's lunar ambitions, from the early Soviet missions to India's historic South Pole landing, and explore what lies ahead. The beginning of the race, the Cold War fuel. The story of moon landings begins not with exploration, but with rivalry. In the 1950s and 60s, the Cold War between the United States and the Soviet Union wasn't just about nuclear weapons, it was about space supremacy. In 1957, the USSR launched Sputnik, the first satellite, shocking the world. Just a few years later, both powers shifted focus to the moon. The USSR made history in 1959 by crashing Luna 2 on the moon, followed by the first successful soft landing with Luna 9 in 1966. But it was the United States that captured the world's imagination. In 1969, NASA's Apollo 11 landed humans on the moon, with Neil Armstrong taking that iconic giant leap for mankind. From 1969 to 1972, the U.S. landed six Apollo missions, and no other country has sent humans there since. Post-Apollo silence, why the world stopped going. After the initial hype, moon missions faded. The last U.S. human landing was Apollo 17 in 1972. The Soviet Union continued robotic missions until 1976 with Luna 24. But then came a silence that lasted over three decades. Why? Because moon missions are dangerously expensive, require advanced technology, and don't provide immediate economic returns. 